please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Back in Ecuador, my family was very religious. Everything they always talked about was either God or the devil. And there were so many TV shows, music, of things we never got to do because they were from the devil. But that never really stopped us from having a great time together. We were really close. I, I think I could say that we were emotionally and uh, mentally dependent on, on one another. Uh, moving forward, when I was 13, we came to the country, to the United States, and my sister and I, we stayed with one of our aunts upstate. Well, my parents stayed in New York City, and they were, you know, getting everything ready for us to move with them. And those two months vacation became a whole year. So throughout that year, my parents didn't want to lose that kind of relationship with us, so we would call each other often. It was like every night, I would hear from them, and we would talk about everything. And we even had a group chat that we would send each other photos and videos and updates about our day, and it would be like, I ate this, I went to work, I went to school, everything. And they would reply right away, or I would reply right away, but it was always there. We didn't know any English. I have a younger sister. I was in middle school, and I was taking ESL classes, and my teacher thought it would be great for us to, for me to start reading a book. Because you know, reading helps you learn and all of that. So I didn't know much about like, you know, books and also I went with a cousin and a friend and we went to the school library and we started looking around and nothing really was calling my attention because you know, I knew I wasn't going to understand any, anything. So I was just like, mm. And I found this like huge, it, it was big. It was like big section of like colorful books on the outside. And I started looking around and I chose what I thought was the most colorful book I've ever seen before. And the title was Naruto. So I opened the book and it was like, you know, lots of images and like uh, drawings in them. And I didn't know what it was. So I went to my cousin and I was like, what's this? And she was explaining to me how it was a Japanese manga. You're supposed to read it right to left. So I thought, you know what? This is perfect. I don't know words. I don't know how to read English, but I can see. And maybe I would understand what it says, but at least I'll get an idea, you know, based on what I can see. So I took the book, I took pictures of the book inside and outside, and I sent that on the group chat so that they could see what I was doing. And they didn't reply. It was weird, it was, you know, hmm. So I thought, you know, whatever, I'm gonna talk to them tonight anyways, like, it's fine. And that night, we were, they called, we were talking, and we talked about everything but the book. And I really wanted them to say something. I was like, you know, I'm, I was expecting um, for them to, bring up the topic, so I said it myself, and I was like, um, are you guys going to say something about the book? It's like, I'm reading a book, and it's in English. I don't understand anything, but it's in English. And, and my mom didn't say anything, and my dad just said, you can't read it. And I was confused, I was like, why not? And he said, because it's Naruto. I didn't know he knew anything about it, but he just went like, it's from the devil. And then he started just sending me like lots of YouTube videos and articles about how Naruto, manga, and anime were from the devil and somehow would be possessed by a demon if I dare to read it. And, and he would ask me questions about it, so like I had to watch and read those things. And, and I did what a good daughter would do, and I put the book away. I didn't even read it, I just put it away and I had to choose another one. It was also a manga, but they didn't have to know this time. <laughs> Um, so, you know, things always get busy. They had work, I uh, had a school, we kind of like lost that contact with each other. And during that time of the year, I, I was living with my aunt and my sister and I started watching anime. Yeah, I discovered that world, so I, I was, you know, watching it. And my sister found out, she joined me. And, and it was like, we called it our little safe cave. It was like a little safe cave. It was just the two of us in this little world that we had just created. And we would just, you know, sit in that room watching anime for hours. And we would completely ignore the whole world outside, this new language, new school, new people. It was nothing but just my sister and I in this world that, that we now had together in this little room. And we continued doing that throughout the year, as well as when we moved to the, to the city after the year was over. And 
my parents didn't know anything about it. It was like, you know, a total secret. It was just my sister and I uh, in the room, headphones on, no parents around. And, and that was like, you know, our secret. And um, things at home were different than how they used to be. It was the same people. It was the same sisters, same parents, same me. But it just felt like we were four strangers living in the same house. Uh, I tried doing things with them, and they tried doing things with me, but it didn't feel right. It just felt like I didn't know them, and they didn't know me. So I just continued following them around everywhere. If my mom was cooking in the kitchen, I didn't know how to cook, but I would still be there next to her, watching her do stuff, and having the same conversation every day. This is how my day was, this is what I said, this is what I did, and she would tell me the same, like this is how my day was, this is what I said, this is what I did, and it would go like that every single day. And same thing with my dad. My dad would be in the living room watching TV, it would be soccer, you know, I didn't know anything about it, so I was, I was just sitting there like, nice. And, and sometimes he would be watching Facebook videos, I don't know the thing that he had with those Facebook videos, it was always about soccer as well. And I wouldn't understand, but I would still be there next to him watching. And I remember this particular day, I was, I was with my mom in the kitchen. And we were talking, we were chatting about, you know, school and all. And I just heard like that fighting kind of sounds like you hear from a movie. So I, I felt curious. I went to see because he was coming from the living room. And only my dad was there. So uh, I walked there, and he was smiling, looking at his phone, and I was like, what are you watching? And he says, oh, it's Dragon Ball. I found it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I was in complete shock. I was like, how are you watching Dragon Ball, which is an anime, if anime is from the devil? And he just said, no, it's not. Dragon Ball's fine. It's not from the devil. So I went running to my mom. And, and I was just, uh, just like, you have to come and see this. You have to see what your husband's watching. Like, come see it right away. And she went to the living room. And before sh my dad could say anything, she recognized it right away. And she was just smiling. And she was like, oh my gosh, you're watching Dragon Ball. And then she started talking about so many animes that she used to watch. And, and when she was younger, and they were like, oh, I used to uh, skip college classes to watch Dragon Ball. And I was just like, wow, like, my gosh, the audacity of these people. <laughs> uh, but even though I was feeling, you know, all of that, I, I, that moment I realized maybe this is it. This is what I needed. That was my door, my opportunity, something to have in common with them. So I just continued doing what I was doing, continued watching anime, just this time not as secret anymore. I would still watch it on my phone, not Naruto though, you know? And it would be my sister and I sitting on the, on, on the table watching anime on my phone, and they would walk right behind us, and they wouldn't say anything. They would just walk away. And then my mom kind of like felt curious to what we were watching as she joined, and we ended up watching Attack on Titans, which she really loved. Um, kind of like ironic, considering it's way worse than Naruto. And she liked it that much, she had to tell my dad about it. And he also ended up watching it with us, and it became our family tradition. Every day, every time, like in the week that my dad wasn't working or we were not feeling too tired, had nothing to do, we would just sit anywhere in the house and watch anime together. And, and, and we still do it, and, and now that I look back into all of this, uh, and I remember how things were in Ecuador, how things were as soon as we moved here, when we moved to New York City with them, and how things are now. I think I can finally say I've realized how anime and manga is what brought my family back together. Thank you.